Oh. Maybe. Got a few buckets here. And a bucket in here. Okay. I don't have fishing nets or stuff like that, so I need to look for for assets I can use for that to add them here and fishing pole, uh, fishing rod and stuff like that. Maybe I find I find them in, in another package or um, can add them any other way. But for the time being, there's little bits, bit there. It's fine for me. Okay, let's have a look. Where do we go next? There's another farm over here. And do we go along the mountain or do we go through the forest? I think I'll go along, s along the the river a bit, then maybe go inland or around here. Behind that farm. go to this farm here and then follow along here to this farm and then go inland is my road side of the, of the farm it's a bit a bit of a shame because I don't think I can flip it around now they're rotated in a bit yeah I have to make another to make a pathway there
Okay, let's try to clear the road a bit. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have the um, skills, you can always learn them. It's, it's quite um, just... The thing is, I cheated. I cheated a lot. And uh, for this terrain, I used a plugin called Gaia. And this plugin generated a lot of stuff for me. It has a um, thing it's called a stamper and I can stamp out different parts of the terrain with it. For instance, I can j just select um, this, this island stuff here. And to show it better I can I can just add stuff to it. Now I, have, I could add that mountain peak in here if I wanted to. And you can combine them and this way create your your terrain that way. And then um, for finer detail you can go and make that yourself take away a bit, but I'm not an expert at all. I play around with it most of the time and it in some place it shows if if you look at um this area in in contrast to maybe over here here look at the the terrain shading and all that that's generated by Gaia it looks better than what I made over here. So it's something you can you can just play around with it, and um, at some point you will find the right balance for you on plugins and um, stuff you did yourself. But if you just want to watch, that's fine as well. <laughs> and I'm glad that you're watching me, but like I said, I'm no expert. forest here. And what helps as well is if you know where you're going. At the moment I don't have a um, sketch in front of me um, for what the terrain should look like, where the roads go and stuff like that. And if you do stuff before that, it has to be just rough. Little sketch can show you one thing I did um, for another game. Um, I made sketches for rooms and they are just rough sketches. That's what I can do per hand and it looks horrible. I can't 
sketch or paint to uh, save my life. And um, but from s sketches like this, you can work on and add to it, do it layer by layer, and um, just take your time with it. At, in the end, the result could be awesome as hell, but it starts with stuff like this. Simple. Not, I can't even do straight lines. It's horrible. I used the ruler at some point, but even then it didn't work. Start small and build up your skills. And what I'm doing at the moment, this terrain painting, is um, something I haven't done much of before, so it shows. <laughs> So let's erase this again and go around this way. And here I see that it doesn't work with those textures, so I just need to find another way to to walk there, or I can just use the this tool. Now I just place some asset there. Look what the coordinates are for y. It's 102. Two. And after that I will delete that mug again go into my terrain and type 102 and now I can level this out at 102 and if you go by small steps like this it turns out great in the end could turn out right in the end. I'm not saying that my my stuff turns out great, but <laughs> it could turn out great. So okay. Now we have a bit of um, bit more definition where the road can go along. Remove some of those pesty grasses that turned out 